Hi, I'm Diane Marie Collins and you have entered the DM Zone. The DM Zone recently went on the road to the Sedona International Film Festival in Sedona, Arizona. We visited with Ed Asner, he was live on stage in Oxymoron, and Richard Dreyfuss in a movie called The Light Keepers, a wonderful romance set in 1912. We then visited with Ashley Wren Collins and her partner Sean Bennett in a fun movie called Chasing Taste about a film critic who loses his sense of taste and smell. Then Sean Lackey and Kevin Farley were in a fun movie called The Yank about an Irish American who finds out he may not be as Irish as he thinks. Lots of fun, great humor, you really need to see that movie. Also, serious topics were covered at the festival. Alzheimer's, water shortage, peace, and immigration reform. These movies, documentaries, and shorts were rooted in peace, lost music, the immigration paradox, and slingshot. It was a wonderful time being able to visit with these creators, young, old, it didn't matter. The thing that was similar about all of them, the passion that they felt for their craft. If you've never attended the Sedona Film Festival, the Sedona International Film Festival, you really need to. It is a, a must-see. It's exciting and fun, parties, movies, live theater, everything combined. I hope you find the time to put it on your list soon. Let's watch these interviews now, okay? Hi, I'm Diane Marie Collins and you have entered the DM Zone. We are here at the Sedona International Film Festival. I am visiting with Dale Griffiths Stamos and she is the writer, I want to say author, but writer of the short film called Lost Music. Welcome, Dale. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, I want to talk about this subject is so, I guess, near and dear to me because I've had three relatives that have suffered with some form of dementia, not Alzheimer's, but Alzheimer's is something that is going to affect, I would think, almost every family in America at some point. How did this, how did this spark of idea come for you? It came in a, both an inspirational way and a pragmatic way. Okay. Uh, the inspirational way, as my director has also talked about, is that, um, I was dealing with my mother-in-law having severe dementia hmm. and probably Alzheimer's. You know, they don't always know. They don't always yeah. Yeah, diagnose. But she went through every single uh, stage that an Alzheimer's person would go through, including getting to the point where she didn't recognize anyone and yeah. had no language. Um, that was the inspiration. The pragmatic part of it was that um, I was writing it specifically for an actress. Um, that named Barbara, Barbara Bain. Bain, yes. <laughs> and the way that all came about is that I come, as my director does, I come from the world of theater. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been uh, 20 odd years a playwright. And I've written a series of short plays called Thicker Than Water about family. And I was very lucky to have a contact uh, who knew Barbara. And I approached her about starring in three of these one acts. I think there were seven mm -hmm. for the whole evening. She read the script first, of course, and she decided she liked them and she started them. That's the first step. <laughs> yes, and then it went very well and we got very nice reviews. And I, so I said to Barbara, can we um, please do another evening of one acts? And this time I want to write about love. And I said, but I'm going to write you two brand new pieces. And the brand new pieces uh, were called Match Made and um, this one, which was called Identity in the, in the... Yeah, the I knew version. you had another name for it yes, originally, but... it's Identity. And um, Match Made, interestingly enough, we, we literally rolled out of the production that was being done at the Beverly Hills Playhouse in Los Angeles and into a filming of it. And so it was very much like the play. It was pretty much dialogue perfect and, you know, the, s the same as the play, but we added a couple of, s of scenes to make it more filmic. How did you change the name? Why did Lost Music, which is what I keep wanting to say, Lost Love, because right. the story is indeed About a love. lost love. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's interesting that you're saying that. Um, it sort of leads from what I was saying. That was very much like the play. 
With this, it was much more of a reimagining of the play. Mm -hmm. We took out one of the characters. The main character in the play was, was a son. We decided we really wanted to focus on the relationship between the husband and wife. And that sort of changed. The caregiver. Yes, the mm -hmm. caregiver. And that changed the tenor of the piece. And we also, as, as Deborah explains, we wanted to uh, really focus on um, really trying to get the feeling of being in the mind of this woman. And so we have the images of going back and forward in time. Because a lot of what happens is, you know, my mother-in-law was calling my husband um, her husband. Example. Absolutely. You know, so you Absolutely. get a lot of that. Yeah, I've seen that with mine. And so um, in the original play, the son finds out that she had, had a lover. The mother had had a lover during their marriage. She had had an affair. And he also finds out that this person was his actual father. So it's a very different story. But this one, we wanted to really keep that key element of the lover from her past because of the draw, the pull, the beauty. And he was because of the music. Right. He was a musician. And ah, often, now that's where, okay. Yes, often <laughs> Alzheimer's victims mm -hmm. have a connection to With music. With music, that's correct. That they will respond to music when they respond to nothing, nothing else. Nothing else. I would play big band music for my mother-in-law. How nice. Um, and um, the film that after our short Una Vida has a similar subject matter of a singer who can sing all of her lines, but then she goes back into her Alzheimer's. But so the point being that um, we wanted to capture this in a much more filmic way than the play had. And we wanted to get the mood and the feeling and the lyricism and the confusion, but also the beauty, you know, of this sort of where time for it folds. It, it folds. folds. It, it folds. That's the best way of saying yes, it. It folds. It gets it, 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 it inter intertwines. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted to capture that. This day. The story is so beautiful, and I think the fact that your theater background brings you to where the film is almost like watching a play. Right. It really right. is. It I mean, that. it has, well, it has that presence. feeling. Yeah. It has presence. And so he gets to the moment, and it's the key moment, where she says, the music, the music, I need the music, and she keens. I mean, she literally keens, you know. And he, that's his decision. He turns the music back on, and he is willing to be her lover from the past. 
Mm -hmm. He corrects her once. She says, Luke, and he says, Florence. But then she keeps saying, Luke, and he dances with her. And mm -hmm. he's now dancing with her as her lover from the past, which is an incredible act of love on his part. Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful story. Uh, thank you for sharing it and for taking time to tell why and, and the reason behind it, because shorts don't always get the same attention that they should. Yeah. And I hope that the film does well. Thank you. I think it's a beautiful film and you've done a wonderful job with it. You have a very strong career. Let's talk about some of your things in the past and maybe some of the future things. What have you done in the past? All right. Well, if we go back to the immediate past. Right. We are looking at uh, another short film that also appeared here oh, at the Sedona wonderful. Film Festival. And uh, it also stars the lovely, inimitable Barbara, Barbara Bain, Bain. excellent. Who is an institution. Oh, I mean, she's oh. an icon. Yes, and there isn't a gentleman out there that doesn't know who she is yes. and where he was when he first saw her. Right. Yeah, Mission Impossible, <laughs> by the way. Right, Mission, Mission Impossible, Impossible for those that, you, she those the that don't know. She's the only woman on the team. Yes, yeah, wonderful. She's still beautiful. Oh, she's, she's stunning. She's, she's stunning. stunning. She's no stunning. doubt about that. And uh, I had written uh, two pieces for her as plays, mm -hmm. which I had adapted into film. One of them is Lost Music. That's this year. But last year we also had Match Made. And, and we, that did very well. It did very well. In fact, we won the Audience Award last year, so we were very pleased with that. This year it's a drama. Last year it was a dramedy. It starts out very comedic and then ends up being quite poignant. Mm. And in that one, she plays a matchmaker who runs a matchmaking service <laughs> for people over 70. Oh, over 70? Over 70. It, okay. It's called, <laughs> it's called Love After 70. <laughs> what fun. And in walks a gentleman who she doesn't think she knows. He appears to be a client. And uh, she begins to realize that he's actually someone from her past, uh, from 50 years ago. But it could be a perfect match. <laughs> well, he's there. At one point, she says, why did you come here pre pretending to be a client? Yeah. And he said, well, I am a client. I just happen to know my match. Ah. Uh. Now, she's very resistant to that, so he is going to have to woo her all through the film. And people really did did love and it. Uh, yeah. what, let's talk about something that's happening on the horizon. Where are you uh, moving next? Well, there's a lot of things that are happening on the horizon. <laughs> I, well, li I, me, like, I like the my top three. <laughs> yeah, I like my partner in crime, Deborah Levine, who is my director co producer for, right? and director. I okay. have a lot of things going. Um, one of those is that uh, we are forming a, um, we have production companies. Mine is Venice Sky Productions. Mm -hmm. You can go to Venice Sky P R O D S. At, um, at you know www right right the dot com yes at dot com and um, and and my partner um, Deborah de director okay. producer has uh, WPR Productions and we're also forming a new production company called View Productions okay and we have another partner in that how fun and we are planning in uh, May to be uh, filming another short film. This will be our last short before we move into features. I love it. And it is based on um, my Heidemann Award winning play called The Unintended Video. The Heidemann Award is with Actors Theatre of Louisville, which is a very, very competitive competition for 10 minute plays. Mm -hmm. And I was very lucky t to win with The Unintended Video. And so we have decided that that's going to be our next adaptation, our next film project. And we're starting a pre-production already. Uh, so that's that's big. The other thing that I'm doing, and I continue to work on plays, by the way. I love it. But I also <laughs> and in your spare time. Yeah, uh, <laughs> there is no spare time. And I also <laughs> am. <laughs> yeah, I also am writing a nonfiction book. Uh, it's about modern day Renaissance women, and we have been interviewing a variety of absolutely stunning, amazing women mm -hmm. who are Renaissance women, who are Renaissance style women. So I've been co-authoring that with my twin brother. Uh, I'm really doing all the writing, but he has a lot of the ideas and his marketing and all of that. So that is a huge project, <laughs> much huger than I thought it was going to be. Um, and I also, just like my, my partner Deborah, I also teach and consult. Um, I teach uh, story structure at the uh, Santa Barbara Writers Conference. Okay. I do that every year. And I have uh, private clients with whom I consult, and I also do story structure presentations at various. I love it. Clubs. You are just a wealth of knowledge <laughs> and a go-to person that is just right there. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Thank you so much for spending Thank time visiting you. with me, and you have been in the DM zone. Come back soon.
I told you you would enjoy those interviews. I had so much fun at the Sedona International Film Festival. And remember, you have been in the DM Zone. Come back soon.